name is Ron. Welcome back. I'll make a turkey call. Cut this out a piece of oak. It was bigger around than I needed, and it's fatter than I needed, so it's going to work out great. Uh, it's hard. Real hard. And it's got a branch up in there. Can't see. It don't look like it made any cool grain or anything but uh should work so stick with me and uh we'll make a turkey call I'll put a glass top on it and uh a tone board and i'll drill the holes and we'll get started all right it's drilled when you tap it you want to go a couple of turns and then back it up couple of turns back it up just keep doing that until you get it all the way through got a ways to go <laughs> all right put on the mantle And we'll put it on. That hit me in the bam. Me and Bart don't get along. Be around to make it here's the tone board or not the tone board but the glass it needs to be bigger than that because it's got to have a lip to sit on so I figure I give it an eighth of an inch lip all the way around to sit on so I'll add about a quarter inch yeah I'll make it about a quarter inch diameter bigger than this one and that way I can cut that groove around the tops of this will countersink into it. So, got a long way to go. Check it out. So, probably got to take off about a quarter inch all the way around. <clears throat> and then I don't want it this fat, so I'm going to, once I get it down to the diameter, then I'm going to take my tailstock back and peel off this and shape it for the bottom. 
because I don't want it that thick. I want about seven eighths, one inch, somewhere around there. So let me do that. <laughs> Supposed to be able to unscrew this. It's on there, bubble. Let me go to plan B. Just needed a little help. Just making sure it'll screw on the other way. Now I'm going to take it over there and drill some holes before I do all the sanding. Otherwise I just have to sand it again. So let me go drill that and I'll be back. Alright, so I want these I want these holes to be you know, semi-straight. So I'll put my center finder on here, find the center of that hole and then come down I'll drill one there, one there, and I'll go to 90 degrees. Yep, and do the same thing. All right, so that's four. So I'm gonna drill four big holes, and then I'll drill some small ones in between it. So there'll be eight holes in it. I'll be back. Alright, holes are drilled. I'm going to put it back on the same way it was before. And we're going to finish the bottom. And then flip it around. Which means sanding, basically. So, let me get busy sailing. Sanding. go with the uh, black paste. I left my axe paste at the ranch. But I think this black might bring out some more character. I could torch it. <laughs> yeah, it might look good torched. Yeah, I'll just stick with this, see what happens. <clears throat> It didn't do much. And we'll see. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it brought out a little here, a little there, a little bit here. Otherwise, it looks pretty plain. And I'll clean all these holes out later. I said later. 
Yep. All right. Now we flip it around. Now, I need to get some washers because that's going to stick up too far in there. I don't want it sticking up more than about like right there. So let me get some washers and put on there. Alright, this is what the washer. I'm going to put three on there. If I even it all up, that'll put the end of this right about there. That way I don't hit it with my tool and I want enough room so that the tone board can sit below the glass so it needs to be about right there a lot of work all right all I got to do is measure the lip glass fits right inside there so it looks like I'm gonna have about a sixteenth around the outside of the glass and then I want to come and give it an eighth inch place to sit and then the rest of this is going to be hollowed out except for the middle and that's where I'm going to put the tone board beneath the glass so let's get started and see where it takes us. Alright. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, you mark that. Now, let's start hollowing this baby out. And I'm going to do that almost like a bowl until I get close to the edge and then I'll go back to flat tools. <clears throat> Clean these holes out and uh, I'm going to flip it back around 
so I can do some extra finishing on the on the back make it shiny but it's basically once I get it all shined up just uh, drop it in and glue and I'll clean these holes out that should be easy enough just take a drill bit but oh uh, let me do that I'll be right back well that's three coats <laughs> it's sucking the sucking it up it's gonna take more than that whatever I want it to be shiny so I'll come back Put a little wax on it See myself. I think that's going to do it. We'll flip around, we'll put them together. could polish it a little more but we'll call that good for now so let me reposition the camera and we'll do some gluing enough to see. Alright, so this is not super glue, it's 30 minute glue. But I'm gonna put a little on this pedestal. Uh it'll come out. There we go. All right. And I just drop this bad boy down in there. And get it adjusted. And then, like I said, 30 minutes. So I'm going to put something heavy on that. And I'll come back when it's dry and we'll put the glass on. Alright, so now I got some E6000. It's a flexible clear glue. I'm just going to put a little bead around the edge. Now one important tip, <laughs> make sure you clean the glass, especially the bottom side, because once it's glued in there it ain't coming back out. You clean the top. There it is. Instant grab. Let that dry, and we'll see if it works. All right, so let me rough this up. And scratch this glass. Hey, let's see if we can make it talk. I've gotten better at this. Still ain't very good, but.
fun little Sunday project out in the shop. Glad y'all stuck with me. And uh, here's another look at it. Oak. Laying in my garage. All scratched up now. But it worked. It makes noise anyway. My little speaker. So, appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And uh, be a couple of weeks. I'll be back, going back to uh, North and South Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama in the next three weeks. So, <laughs> going to be busy. Maybe I can find some wood. Y'all have a great day.